Welcome back to Ask Free. Today we're diving into the world of programming and comparing Mojo structs with Python classes. Structure and classes are like blueprints for creating objects in programming languages. Imagine you're building a house, structs and classes are the plans that tell you how to build it. Mojo structs are like super organized blueprints, they're set in stone before you even start building. You can't add extra rooms or change the layout once you've started. Python classes are a bit more flexible. It's like having blueprints that you can change as you go along. Need an extra room? No problem, just add it in. Please note that, eventually, Mojo will also support classes to match the behavior of Python classes. So, let's see differences between Mojo structs and Python classes. They both support methods, fields, operator overloading, decorators for metaprogramming, and more, but their key differences are as follows. Mojo structs are static, they are bound at compile time, you cannot add methods at runtime. Structs allow you to trade flexibility for performance while being safe and easy to use. Mojo structs are like sturdy buildings. Once they're built, they're set in stone, no changing them on the fly. But hey, that stability brings its own perks. Python classes are like dynamic gardens. You can change them on the fly, add or remove features whenever you want. It's like planting new flowers or rearranging the garden whenever you feel like it. Mojo structs do not support inheritance, subclassing, but a struct can implement traits. Python classes support inheritance, like family trees in the garden. But Mojo structs don't do that. Instead, they implement traits, which are like specialized skills each building has. We will discuss traits in the next video. Another cool feature of Python classes is class attributes, like shared secrets among family members. But you won't find that in Mojo structs. They keep it simple and don't support static data members. Syntactically, the biggest difference compared to a Python class is that all fields in a struct must be explicitly declared with var. In Mojo, the structure and contents of a struct are set at compile time and can't be changed while the program is running. Unlike in Python, where you can add, remove, or change attributes of an object on the fly, Mojo doesn't allow that for structs. However, the static nature of structs helps Mojo run your code faster. The program knows exactly where to find the struct's information and how to use it without any extra steps or delays at runtime. In Mojo, these special methods are called dunder methods. They handle things like when your object is created or destroyed or even how it compares to other objects. Mojo calls the init method when you create an instance of the struct, and when Mojo destroys the instance, it calls the del method if it exists. Without the copy and move constructors, this code would not work because Mojo would not know how to copy an instance of my pet. And guess what? Mojo can even help you out by automatically creating these special methods for you with something called the value decorator. It's like having a magic wand that saves you from writing a bunch of extra code. So, whether you're building with Mojo structs or Python classes, each has its own strengths and weaknesses. It's all about finding the right tool for the job. Well, that's all for today, folks. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more programming fun. See you next time.